The Dollar General began in 1939 as a family-owned business called J.L. Turner & Son. The name was changed to Dollar General in 1955, then went public in 1968 and now currently have over 17,000 stores while employing over 143,000 people. Today, they are the corporate-owned corner store that we all know and, well, we go to because it's close and has cheap stuff. Obi. Juan Kenobi, please hold me, don't show me, Obi. Everything about the Dollar General screams cheap. Even the store signs look like they were stolen off of a generic food container, but I'm pretty sure that was by design. You don't go into a Dollar General looking for top shelf or customer service or short lines or anything really other than snacks and laundry soap. But how does it stack up as an employer? Well, now would be a good time to invite you to watch my video called Welcome to Company Reviews, which will give you an idea for what I'm looking for when I rate these companies as well as how I format these videos, just in case you're curious about how I put all this stuff together. And there will be a link in the description. So. When it comes to the major job posting sites, this company currently has an overall rating of 3.1 on Indeed and 2.9 on Glassdoor. That places it as a below average employer. It's just not a desirable place to work. But to get the best idea for why people like, hate, or tolerate a job, it's best to look at how they rate in the five categories. Compensation and benefits, work-life balance, management, job security and advancement, culture. And out of these categories, work-life balance, management, and culture all tied as the highest rated categories at 2.9, and compensation was rated the lowest at 2.6. Now, the fact that three categories tied as the highest rated doesn't mean anything significant. Keep in mind that not one of the five categories scored over a three. Although you may have noticed that the company itself did score a 3.1, even though no category scored over 3. The reason this can happen is because the overall rating is the only required rating you have to give on websites like Indeed. In my opinion, this makes the categories a more accurate portrayal because people are taking the time to fill this stuff out, even though it's not required. So first, let's go over why people quit. To do this, we'll focus on the bottom two categories. At Dollar General, these are job security and advancement and compensation, or pay. What we're seeing in the reviews is pretty much a general consensus of unhappy employees. People just don't like the company. It's clearly very hard to find good managers here, which kind of snowballs into bigger issues, especially if you're paying them less than an assistant manager at Walmart would make. An unskilled or even bad manager leads to unhappy employees that don't feel like they have a future with the company. And by the way, no offense to the good DG managers out there, they are out there. It's just my honest opinion that companies like the Dollar General have a hard time finding and keeping good managers such as yourself. I have a feeling that a good chunk of the good ones don't stay long after the man behind the curtain is revealed. But let's forget managers for the time being. The obvious winner when it comes to why people quit is going to be pay. This company does not pay their employees well. It's a bare minimum company. They will stay at the lowest possible dollar number that they can hire people at until people just stop applying, and then they're forced to raise it a little. I guarantee that this is a company that presses their managers to pick up the slack because of their inability to keep people hired. And I can just imagine the conversation in my head. <laughs> oh, Neville. Hey, Darren, you mind if we can chat for a bit? Ah, oh, sure, I suppose. Have a seat. What's going on? Well, I was thinking that we should up the starting pace so that we can attract more people. <coughs> up the what? Yeah, I just feel like $8 an hour isn't cutting it. I'm exhausted, man. I need some help. I'm already opening and closing the store. You know what it is. Damn government. Paying people to sit on their butts all day. Lazy people, man. They just don't want to work. Well, be that as it may, I mean, I can't keep up. I knew there would be extra responsibilities when I took this manager job, but I can't do it all. You're doing fine. Besides, that's why you get the big bucks, right? $18 an hour, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, life-changing money. Look, this will all be over soon. There will be so many people looking for a job, we'll have to turn them away at the door. I don't know, man. A lot of places are starting to raise their starting pay. Amazon, Target, Walmart... Trust me on these things. We've got the job posted. We're doing everything we can do. You'll just have to keep plugging away until we find somebody. You know, it's almost like you keep the pay just low enough so that people don't apply. That way you can just have the managers do the work of three people while you pretend that you're doing something about it. Okay, now listen, you're way out of line here, buddy. I'm a leader, not a boss. You ever heard of it? You're just not being a team player. Now get out of my office. Whatever, man. This place is a... <laughs> 
fucking prison. I'm out. Well, Jim, I think they figured it out. We're toast. Okay, a little dramatized, but you get it. This place will work its staff to the bone for the bare minimum, and some people may argue that this is so the discounts get passed over to the customer, but you know, this is a billion dollar company, more like double digit billions. They're making lots of money, and it's coming at the cost of its underpaid employees. If you've ever had an economics class, they teach about the impact that discount stores like the Dollar General are having on our economy. There's an argument that the benefits of these discount stores don't outweigh the economic impact that it might have. The economy is at its best when people have money to spend. So people, you know, us citizens, are the ones fueling the economy when we have money to buy goods and services. When a company like Dollar General starts opening up stores all over town, it prevents other businesses from wanting to try and compete. When you have so many dollar stores in one neighborhood, there's no incentive for some kind of a full service grocery store to come and open up shop. And the idea here is that more and more people will have to start working for less money at a Dollar General because that's the only thing that's available. That's the only opportunity that is available to them. And when more and more people are making less and less money, that means less money is going back into the economy. People won't spend it if they don't have it. But the dollar store isn't the only culprit. Income inequality is becoming a real problem everywhere. A small percent of people are getting rich while the middle class continue to shrink. And stores like the Dollar General are the reasons that this is happening. But that's enough on that rant. Let's get back to the reasons people are quitting this company. So let's take a look at what employees had to say. Here I've handpicked five of my favorite one-star reviews to see what people had to say about what they hated about this company. Okay, the first one. This company does not care about their employees out of Collinwood, Tennessee. The hours are terrible and so is the pay. No perks of the job whatsoever. Upper management does not care about its people. Always short-staffed because people won't stay. Don't recommend out of Texas. Love my store manager, but the company in general is horrible. It does not care how you have to get the job done. I'm going to have to try that again because it's worded weird. Love my store manager, but the company in general is horrible. Does not care how you have to get it done, I'm assuming. And still ask for more and more with very little pay and manpower. Terrible work-life balance out of New York State. As a store manager, you are required to be there six days a week. At minimum, two of those days are 10-hour days. One half day, but the rest start at eight. You are paid for the work which never ends, and DG doesn't give you enough employees to ever catch up unless you stay late and come in early every day. Horrible, out of Maysville, Kentucky. There is no work-life balance if you're in management. You'll end up working by yourself three-fourths of the time because the company doesn't want to pay for help. Yuck, from Burton, Michigan. Do yourself a favor and don't work here. In all seriousness, this is a good job for young adults who live at home with little to no bills. The pay is not worth the work they make you do. You can go to Taco Bell and make more money an hour. You did a lot of work for barely no money out of Abville, Louisiana. Abville, Louisiana? Anyway, you literally do everything in the store. Only two people on the shift. You do everything for only $7.25. It's not worth it. The customers are nice, but this is a job for people who doesn't have bills. Okay, so why do people like working at the Dollar General? Well, they don't. At least most don't anyway. But in the spirit of fairness, we'll take a look at what people ranked the highest when it comes to working there. And in this case, three categories are all ranked the same. Work-life balance, management, and culture. So out of 30,000 reviews, people generally thought that work-life balance was okay. I can see this for non-store manager and non-assistant manager roles. I'm guessing here, but I would dare to say that most positions with this company are part-time. So for most associates, long hours is not going to be an issue. As far as management and culture, this screams like one of those places where nobody cares. They don't pay them enough to care. It's probably a pretty laid-back job with mostly laid-back people working there. I dare say laid-back to the point of just doing enough to not get fired. Okay, so now I've picked some five-star reviews views that stuck out to me. Let's go over those. Workplace out of Smithsburg, Maryland. 
Very good company to work for. I enjoyed working there. Management was like family. I didn't approve of the district manager. I didn't like working every weekend and evenings. <laughs> so take the good with the bad, I guess. Cool from Baltimore, Maryland. Chills, cool, calm, collective, easy, flex schedule. Get to know the neighborhood. Great employees, great management, great product. Easy to put up. Fun first job out of Louisville, Kentucky. In my short time at the Dollar General, it was fun. I made tons of new lifelong friends. I left with a good source of knowledge on how to do things in an order, orderly manner. I have a problem with the word orderly. Orderly. Spit it out. I love it. I wish I could get rehired out of Midland, Texas. I loved it. I wish I could get rehired. I was a hard worker, but me and the manager had got into it and he fired me, but I was dependable, always on time, never complained. Wish they hire me back. Well, good luck. Okay. Well, this one's going to be kind of a hard read through, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Terrific. Awesome. Candy out of Texas. I love the candy selection. It all tasted so good. I ate it all the time. What a terrific place of employment for my job. Couldn't handle the fun and all the candy. Can't stop, won't stop. So many rancid turtles line the pockets of these candy wrappers. It's such a relief. <laughs> what just happened there? So here's my take on it. And for legal reasons, I do need to let you know that anything I say is based on my opinions gathered from online research. I am not making the claim that these reviews are the facts, but I will never make up blatant factual inaccuracies just to make a business look bad. I'm using the same online information that everyone has access to, and I encourage you to do your own research and draw your own conclusions. With that said, the Dollar General is a super corporate employer. When I say that for this company, I want you to picture that overly greedy, fat corporate cat sitting in the office with a cigar, the ridiculously over-the-top corporate villain. That's how I picture the Dollar General, just sitting at the head of a table in a board meeting, puffing a cigar, saying, we need to make more money, reduce staff, and increase productivity. Then you get the concerned board member, but sir, we're already pushing the managers too far. Call security, have them change his locks, clean out his desk, and toss him out of the building. Oh, but it's Christmas. <laughs> Call accounting. Stop his bonus. This is not the place you go for a career if your plan is to work your way up the corporate ladder. You'd have better luck at a reputable retail chain like Target. This is the place where you go to make the best of a bad situation. If you're in management, you will be overworked. If you're not in management, you most likely won't get benefits or enough hours. From my observations, they usually keep about three people on full-time per store. You've got the manager, the assistant manager, and one full-time associate. That's not an exact number, but the corporate office will definitely want as few full-time associates per store as possible. The rest are going to be part-time. And the pay for all positions on the ground level, meaning working in the store, are well below average. This is going to be a company that will pay the bare minimum. You could get paid more to be an assistant manager at Walmart than to be a branch manager here. Keep that in mind. And one big problem that a bunch of managers run into here is being able to keep people hired. When you are paying minimum wage or close to it, you're not going to be able to get people who care about the job. You could literally go anywhere and get paid the same or more. And when they call out or quit, then who do you think is going to have to cover their shift? That's right, Mr. or Miss Manager. That's going to be your job. Every week, open and close, constantly interviewing and hiring in between putting stock away and running the cash register. Then when you talk to your district or regional boss, they can play the, oh, well, we've got the job posted. I don't understand why people don't want to work game. This job is a nightmare for store managers. So how would I rank it? Right where it belongs at a below average company. I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. This company definitely gives off that profits over people vibe. Would I recommend this company as a place to work? No to store manager and assistant manager roles and really to anyone looking to have a standard full-time job with benefits and all that stuff. Yes to district and regional level on up positions to build your resume and yes to part-time positions for people who are just looking for extra cash. I would not recommend making a career out of it, but I would recommend this as a temporary solution. And until you find that permanent solution, make sure you are brushing up your interview skills and keeping your resume up to date. Always have a solid exit plan. 
So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've worked for the Dollar General, then let me know what you think. Were my observations close or was I way off? I'd love to hear about your experience. Use the comment section to write your own review. Let me know why you loved or hated your job at the Dollar General. Please stand by for a message from the president of the company. Greetings, humans. My name is Natsaj, but my friends refer to me as the Nebralian. I know, weird, he's got a tie on, am I right? But look, I'm going to be straightforward with you Earthlings. I mean, your governments aren't even denying the fact that I'm here anymore. <laughs> the jig is up. So yes, the rumors are true. We are taking over your world and using your bodies as vessels for our offspring. Although we will be keeping some of you around to provide essential services such as DoorDash and Netflix. Which reminds me, if you do want to remain alive after the full invasion, then please let us know. You can register here here on the Nebralian channel by hitting that subscribe button and punching that bell for future notifications. Only Nebralian subscribers will be spared. I ride a hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus. You can ride